Hey everybody! Oh my god! Of course, stuff's dropping all around me. So I got papers and stuff. <laughs> but hey everybody! Today is a good day! Finally, the horrendousness of you know who is over with. Thank God. Let's cheer. Let me you know what. Let me give me some alcohol. Let's cheer to this for real. Now I got this little thing of pineapple vodka, and I put I put some in here. Pineapple vodka, some, 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 in here. It's, I ain't gonna lie, this is water, but I mixed them in with it, and, 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 yeah. So I got me something to drink. Congratulations to uh, Camilla Harris and Joe Biden. Now, I told y'all from the very beginning that Joe Biden wasn't someone I was voting for because I truly believe whatever. I just wanted to get Trump out of office. But I'm willing to give Biden a chance to see how he's gonna do, and I believe my heart of hearts in some form of fashion he's going to do great but i'm as you guys can see behind me in this little video that's going to be looping you'll see more pictures of camilla harris than joe because this is a monumental occasion for black women across the boards of everyone you know um they they are You know what I'm saying? They are um, literally, black people are resilient. Black women are resilient. And while this loops, I want you to just hone in on what this means. And I'm gonna be pointing out some things. Um, I watched the inauguration um, and I've been shooting stuff so I haven't been able to see fully everything else and plus I have work so I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done today. So um, I'm just gonna point out a couple of things. So cheers to yeah, I, I take big gulps, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Besides, I, I don't like I told you guys, I don't do a lot of alcohol, so it's just very little. It's like enough to get me because I'm buzzed just a little bit. I'll be buzzed a little bit, but I also don't want to go to work and be buzzed. Um, matter of fact, it's a little bit of it's a little bit left in here. I got this for last year from like my birthday. Whoo, whoo. Cheers. It's like a burning sensation through my body. Ooh, maybe tear up a little bit. <laughs> but congratulations to the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden, Camilla Harris. I'm not sure how many vice presidents there's there have been. Um, I think probably the same amount, right? So congratulations to Camilla Harris for being the first black female president of the United States. And I'm just so happy to see her there. So that's why you'll see more portraits and pictures of Camilla Harris than Joe, because this is this marks a monumental occasion, you know, for us. And the inauguration was great. I'm not here to like review the entire inauguration. I'm just here to congratulate Joe Biden and Camilla Harris really quickly. And just to congratulate congratulate you guys. Congratulate you Madam, I can say that, Madam Vice President. We've had like Madam Secretary or Madam this or Madam this, but Madam Vice President? I'm voting for her ass and, and uh, uh, when she runs for president, because I know she's gonna run for president. And on top of that, she's not from an Ivy League college. She's from one of the great colleges in the world, Howard University, HBCU, a historically black college. That's a university. Or wait, did I say that wrong? HBCU, Historically Black College University. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I want to show y'all something. So th these are the wives and stuff, you know, um, when, when it comes back. But I'm just so happy and proud of Camilla Harris because she's just doing a great work for us. Great work for her community, great work for her family, great work for the black community, and I'm just so proud to have and call her the vice president. Now, hold on. 
hold on, hold on, let me go back. I want to show y'all something. Now, when I was looking at, see, I'll be noticing the little shit. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on, let me show y'all. Look at this big ass Bible. There's like a big inscription on the Bible. It's like a big T cross. And I think, I don't know if this, this is like, a, like an original Bible that was from like back probably when Abraham Lincoln put his hand on it. But look how big this fucking Bible. I think this is a Bible, right? That's a Bible, right? Because that thing is huge. It's all like torn to pieces, wrinkled. Like, that's a historical Bible. And then, and then I'm going to show you the picture of Cam Camilla Harris had the little, she had one of like my Bible. I mean, it wasn't thin like this. But it was like a little thicker. I don't really like thick Bibles because I like for it to be easy accessible to where I can walk around with it and read it like a book. Because I want to take it wherever I go. Some, I don't take it wherever I go. But like if I want to take it somewhere, I don't want to have to have, be a in, huge inconvenience because it's so fuck, freaking big and everything, you know. So I have a thinner Bible. But um, this Bible is, oh, like you can see pink, the lining is coming out of it, of the book. <laughs> I bet you they don't even open this book. I bet you they open this book in a long time. I bet you open it up, dust fly, fly out. But yeah, um, what's her? I think her name is Jill Biden. Jill, I think that's her name. Forgive me. Um, but I'm just so proud of them. You know, this was his lifelong dream to become president of the United States. So I'm proud of him. Um, and he was finally able to re re achieve this dream. However, some people's dreams are a little bit more of like they just wanted to get to the highest office because that's like Trump. But I believe that ain't really gonna be him. Hopefully. Keep my eye on and look out, you know, because I told you I don't really trust people like that. But I'm happy that he's getting in office and everything like that. And he's going to be getting some things straight. Uh, but I still want my stimulus check, you know, that's going to be first priority. <laughs> and, and COVID stuff. And I'm glad that he's introducing a 100, 100 day mandate for wearing a mask. And and, and, and also um, he they, they went to the Arlington to. Uh, give out like oh, the over 400 flag thing like to, the, to celebrate those that have, have died from the COVID and honestly having the not having the audience there at the inauguration and stuff like that it didn't make no difference you know everything still went as planned everything still looked great looked big I do feel bad because as this being your lifelong dream you don't get to fully experience it because you're uh, because he's a successor the bastard didn't do his part as a president you know what I'm saying um but I'm glad that this happened for him. And I want to I, I look at this Bible. I want to touch. I want to have it in the museum because I'm kind of interested in like going and looking at it because that looks very, very like, you know, really cool. And then um, she was wearing a really nice blue. I like this blue. This was a nice blue. Um, and she just looked very simple. It looked simplistic and good. And I was glad that, you know, they were there and everybody remember that fist pump. I'm going to show you the fist pump. But they did the fist pump, and I was so glad that they did that. Now, this photo, I saw, I was picking out of photos, right? And look at all these photos. So this is supposed to be the Attorney General, uh, Merrick Garland, Barack Obama, let me move, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, and then oh, the picture got cut up, and that's supposed to be the um, uh, Defense Secretary. And then this is supposed to be the guy that swore Joe Biden in, and then this is Jill. <laughs> and then they did, they did, they, who did this photo? This is so wrong. This photo is wrong. They done, they, they made these people look fucked up. They look, and my thing is, what, what's all this redness though? I wonder what they did with the redness. But I kind of like it, but it's more comedic. So I had to, I wanted to put something com comedic in there. Cause you know, it's funny. Let's laugh it up. We, we've dealt with four years of badness. Let's get back into the goodness and laugh it up. Let's live a little bit and laugh, you know? Um, And yeah, so just I, I really love my favorite thing from this picture was Camilla Harris my favorite thing purple was the way to go I loved the longevity of the jacket you know it was really e elegant and beautiful for her um her hair was blowing this way her hair was blowing that way the girl didn't even pay attention she wasn't even paying attention to that me I would have been like how am I how am I looking you know <laughs> like you know because I'm conscious as a black person I'm always trying to make sure I'm on key like Patti LaBelle she's always you never see Patti LaBelle walk out the house looking ham Hot ass mess, that's what that means. Um, me, I'm a little regular, so I may sometimes. But I was just, it's just so nice to see you have a president, first lady, vice president, second gentleman. You get what I'm saying? First time, second gentleman. And I applaud him, like I told you, I think I've told you guys this before, but I applaud him because men can sometimes be self righteous and can be like that olden thing where men are supposed to work, women stay at the home, where she's the vice president. 
And he's not, he's not, not nothing. But if you think about it, he's, she's powerful. She's like the stampede. Like if something would happen to body, she becomes president. And it's nice to know that he's so sufficient and so secure in his manhood and him being a man that his wife can work. She can become the vice president of the United States and he'd not have any guilt that it's, he's not, he's not the pre vice president or the president. He's not the one that's making that stampede moment. You get what I'm saying though? You get what I'm saying though? You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad to, that they have that and it's so monumental. This is, this is something we can picture and put in a picture frame and call it history because it proves that men, you don't have to be in the position of power. Let your women take place. Let your black women take place. This is a historical moment that a black first, black vice, vice, pre, um, little, First, not only black, but also first female vice president of all times. Now, we've had black women run in the presidential election, but they never succeeded. Wasn't the right time. Sadly, I would have voted for them, you know, but I'm just glad to see her in this position. It's really nice. And I think her outfit was very so much amazing. It very was. It was everything. Now, I know damn well that they fucking legs is colder than the motherfucker. Come on now. Come on now. Me, if I was, I mean, I'd be dressed up in sweatsuits and pants. Like, what's up? Let me come get the president of the United States, motherfuckers, you know. <laughs> me, if it was my inauguration, I'd be having a cookout, back, uh, kickback type of party. It would have been barbecue and everything out there. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be so structured. This thing was so structured that when the, th the guy in the monitor, he said, sit, uh, please take your seats. I would have been like, sit down, motherfuckers. <laughs> but yeah it's just so good to see the pictures and and i love this i just came across this on google and it said understanding that the first job is bringing everyone back together and starting it from and, and starting it on day one bravo this is was a uh, post on twitter and that is true they're bringing it back you know and i think having those flags there y'all was amazing like I didn't even notice that the audience wasn't there I didn't really care that they weren't there because it still looked the same to me it still looked like an inauguration and everything that happened there just everything was just good you know I do feel like the media covered too much of the old president or ex-president you know what I'm saying don't nobody give a fuck like who cares let's stop talking about him it's over and done with he was yesterday's literally he was yesterday's history literally let's let, I'm not even mentioning his name no more like for real I'm calling him that man over there hmm. when I do this y'all know what I'm talking about because this means literally for him um, but I'm just so glad to see Joe Biden in office I'm so glad to see Camilla Harris in office she's from Compton right I think she said she grew up in Compton and then she went to Howard University it's just so good to see our own kind and he made history too because he's the first Catholic right Catholic president to enter office and the oldest president to enter office. So hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we making we making difference up in him. But don't get no ideas, 90 year old motherfuckers. You're not running. Don't be trying to have no heart attack. I do not want no old ass president in office. We need to put a stipulation on how old you can be, how like the oldest, because we can't be having no 80, 90 year old presidents in office and then they we handling something hard and then they have a heart attack. Like, Ugh. And then they fall to the ground, you know what I'm saying? They're supposed to push the nuclear button because, you know, we in war right now and they don't push it, so then we all die. <laughs> but I'm just joking. No, no, I'm being for real, but like in a joke, I'm just, it's jokes, it's jokes. So don't take it too hard, you know, don't hold that shit in, laugh with me. Um, but I'm just happy to see them in office. It's really nice to see them in office um, and to see them together. Uh, it's just, oh, here we go. Look at, look at, look at her Bible. Look at her Bible. That cute little Bible. It looked all nice and neat. You could tell. You could tell by people that read their Bible because it be bookmarked, highlighted, underlined. Things be folded in. Things be not ripped out, but like you know the little corner be bookmarked. Then the little thing be in there. They got pins in there. It's all flaky. It's all ruined. It's all raunchy and shit. This thing looks so neat. I don't know what that was on top of it. That's a good question. I know that's the Bible, but I don't know what that was on top of it. Um, I will commend that guy that was there. He was wiping down everything. Every time somebody stepped up before they did, he wiped it down. He wiped down the mics. He was getting, he was doing it, you know. Um, my favorite thing besides seeing Camilla Harris being sworn in, and, and Joe Biden, but more so Camilla Harris was my favorite. Um, I will say that I did like that girl that did the poem. Um, I think her name was like um, Amanda G Gordon or something like that. She's like she was an amazing she did that poem that she did was very good and I'm a poet y'all know I'm a poet I write um, I'm not as 
I'll admit I'm not as um of a slave to it as I should be because I need to be. Um, you know, but I will say though that that girl, yeah, her name is Amanda Gordon. She's a poet. I'm not sure where she's she's from, but she that poetry she did was really good and I liked it. And she's doing her she's doing the damn thing. Yeah, she's a great writer. So I love that poem that she did. Um, I think that the whole production, everything that was brought together was good. Honestly, just having the 2,000, what, 1,000 or 2,000 people that were there, that was good enough. That was good enough. Less havoc to having to deal with. The security was beef, beefed up, though, because child just walking down the, cap, the Capitol hallways, there were so many Secret Service people and so many Capitol people ever, just everywhere. And that was good. It was good to see that. So that way, you know, because we ain't trying to have these historical moments taken away by the few that are terrorists out there um but congratulations camilla harris congratulations joe biden i salute to you guys god bless you in this office as you guys have the democratic house and senate which is good so that makes it easier to pass things through now um but there still will be some issues and stuff but i believe you guys will do the office faithfully and due diligently and we welcome you to the to the executive branch um as american people and I'm praying for you, but I will be keeping a look good, good eye out because, you know, I'm making sure y'all are doing right. All right. And let's just start this. Let's, this we've already went to 20 decades, a de, a dec, uh, two decades. Let's let this another two decades be good. We've already went 20 years with some horribleness and some monumental occasions and historical occasions. Let's let 2021 going forward be another moment of more historical occasions and hopefully some more good and bad but i'm going to say a prayer right now for uh joe biden and camilla harris in regards to this and i'm gonna see y'all later so everybody bow your heads heavenly father we come to you right now And we call on your name, Lord. We call on you because you are the only one that is great. You're the only one that is perfect. You are the king of kings. You are the ruler of all rulers. You are the, the essence of beauty and mind and light and heart and soul and life and spirit and holy. And we thank you for being you, God. I know I, qu I question you sometimes and I don't have the right to, but I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to have an inquisitive mind. I thank you for allowing us to be able to come to the betterment of people today. Lord, please reach out your hands and cover Biden and Camilla Harris as they tackle this pandemic, Lord. This pandemic is crazy, Lord. Please help them to tackle the black racial injustice in this world. Um, please cover my black people, cover the world, cover the United States, cover us as we have lifted from this trying times. And although we are in the book of revelations, Lord, that you see in your heart of hearts, that you see that we're trying to do the betterment of the people, by the people, of the people, and fight for the justice of one and all. Lord, cover Camilla Harris and Joe Biden when they're on trips, when they're eating with their families, when they're dealing with national security crises, when they're dealing with terrorists, the domestic foreign and domestic come on now um but lord please cover them with the ability to still be human please cover them with the ability to be uh, truthfully honest with the american people be uh forthcoming and, and and be all that they can be for themselves and for their families and when they leave the office officially that they will then still be intact with the mindfulness of of being humble and having humility and being human and lord cover biden when he enters his second turn and then cover camilla harris when she runs for president of the united states and you allow her to win to create a historical occasion that black people can be in power and we can do great and we can do things that push beyond the norms that they have set forth for us that we that they said we cannot achieve and you know what i mean by they they mean white people racist white people racist terrorist people that are just not of white people but lord thank you
for everything you continue to do in our lives. Thank you for waking us up to see another day. Thank you for allowing this occasion to happen. Thank you for bringing us through the dust. Thank you for bringing us out of the desert of, of dark winter where we felt that we would never, ever be able to get to a place of complacency, a place of betterness, a placement of, of, of being in good. We ain't asking for great lord we ain't asking for horrible but we're just asking for simplicity we're asking for just okay being good lord and we thank you for everything you do and you do in our life and we don't have to add we don't have to deserve to ask you for nothing else lord we do not deserve to ask you for anything else because you are better you are great you are the god of gods you are the god of all kings and queens you are the god of all people you are the creator of the heaven and the earth and the universe you are the beginning and the end you are the middle you are the storyteller you are the right righteous owner of everything you are the master you are great lord and we appreciate you and we are enslaved to you and indebted to you for all eternity we thank you for allowing jesus to die on the cross to save our sins for the many sins that we have put on this earth and even in this moment we thank you lord for the fact that you are so great that you allowed yourself to be one and everywhere all at the same time we appreciate you, Lord. We call out to you, Lord, in a time of need. And we're going to continue to worship you. We're going to continue to put you first over this country. We're going to choose you to allow and dictate what happens in the United States of America and across the globe. We thank you, Lord, for everything you continue to do in our lives. And please allow your hands to hold this world up as it spins around 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And we thank you, Lord, for allowing this historical occasion to happen that's behind me that is happening in D.C. right now. And we thank you, Lord, for the hypocrisy and the racism and the misogynistic people, too, Lord, because you're allowing us to know what to be better than and not to conform to the standard and allow us to wake up and see that we need to do better. And we're doing better, Lord. We are starting to pay attention to you, Lord. And I thank you for allowing to do this journey and the storytellings and the things that you've allowed us to do and go through to get to this moment of today. Please continue to reach out to your hand as Cam to Camilla Harris and Biden as I am right now, Lord, and touch them, their blood, their mind, their heart, their body, their soul, their families. And thank you, Lord, for allowing us to get to a place of betterment. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Now, I want y'all to go get your behinds back to work. Because I know y'all behinds is on the clock working now. I'm off today. Tomorrow so I can do that. <laughs> but again, God bless you, Camilla Harris. God bless you, Joe Biden. And I'm going to trust you a little bit. Not just a whole yet. You got to earn my trust. It's not just handed out to you. I don't just hand out my trust to anyone. But... I have a slim glimpse of hope and belief that you will do some good. Some good. Not 100% good, but some good. But I'll be watching. But I want to thank you for wanting to do good for the better of the people. Bump the United States just being a good person. You know what I'm saying? So again, God bless you all. We're truly, we're truly blessed. We're truly blessed. We're truly blessed. Stay safe and well, y'all. Stay safe and well. Wear your mask. Be mindful of other people. God bless us all. Let's do better for the world as we're better together than apart. And let's talk. Let's be people again. Let's stop being soldiers. God bless you.